हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ द जून 2023 मैथमेटिक्स सॉल्यूशन टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द मार्कोव चेन क्वेश्चंस माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर हरीश कर यू कैन सिंपली फॉलो माय यूट्यूब चैनल डॉक्टर हरीश वेर यू कैन फाइंड द वेरियस वीडियोस रिलेटेड टू दिस एग्जामिनेशन ऑल्सो यू कैन स्कैन एंड ज्वाइन माई व्हाट्सअप ग्रुप वेर वी हैव डिस्कस द सेवरल क्वेरीज एंड द शॉर्टकट ट्विक्स सो सिंस द टूडे टॉपिक इज ऑन द मार्क ऑफ चेन वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इन माई प्ले PY question वाई क्वेश्चन ऑफ द मार्क ऑफ चेन फ्रॉम द इलेवन टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री सो द टूडेज क्वेश्चन विच इज डिस्कस इन दिस जून ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री इज इज द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ ऑल दोज क्वेश्चन विच इज अपियर इन माई हियर मोर ओवर आई ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन द जून ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री पार्शल डिफरेंशियल कैलकुलस ऑफ वेरिएशन रियल एनालिसिस इनर प्रोडक्ट स्पेस लीनर एलजेब्रा इन माई प्ले लिस्ट सी एस आर यू जी सी नेट सो लेट स्टार्ट विद दिस वीडियो सो रिमेंबर यू हैव टू रीड द स्टेटमेंट वेरी केयरफुली लेट एन इज ग्रेटर देन टू इज माई पॉजिटिव इंटीजर अ मार्क ऑफ चेन ऑफ द स्टेट वन टू एन हैज अ ट्रांजिशन प्रॉबिलिटी मेटमिक्स सो फॉर द सेक ऑफ सिंप्लिसिटी आई कंसिडर एन इज माई टू बिकॉज इट इज टू फॉर ईच पॉजिटिव इंटीजर सो आई कैन कंसिडर एन इज माई टू सो दैट माई कैलकुलेशन बिकम अ सिंपलर कंसिडर द मार्क ऑफ चेन हेयर देन आई इज माई हेयर विच ऑर द फॉलोइंग इज द करेक्ट सो कैन यू थिंक अबाउट अ सिंपल टू सिंपल टू क्रॉस टू ट्रांजिशन प्रॉबिलिटी मेटमिक्स आर हेयर दिस इज माई सिंपल यू कैन कंसिडर दिस मैट्रिक्स यू कैन थिंक अबाउट हेयर यू कैन थिंक अबाउट दिस वन यू कैन थिंक अबाउट ऑफ दिस और यू कैन कंसिडर एनी ऑफ दी ए बी सी डी सच दैट ईच रो सब इज माई वन नाउ यू योर टारगेट इज टू फाइंड विच ऑर द फॉलोइंग इज नेसेसरी टू वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ द नेसेसरी टू it means it is always true so we have to provide a one example to disprove that's a fine but which is always true can you draw the transition diagram so 1 2 1 2 1 2 to 1 so it clearly says that there is no transient state is there any recurrent state both are my recurrent state look at this example so from 1 to 2 you have from 2 to 1 you have you have the recurrent state but there is no transient state but we have all always true so at least one transient state always true this is a wrong option because we get a two counter example which shows that this is not always true look at this third example 1 to 1 it's a fine 2 to 1 is there what is the meaning of that one is my recurrent state Two is my transient state because you can go from the two, but you can never come back to the two. But it is it always two? At least one. Look at the first two example, which itself said there is no transient state. If you are able to provide one counter example which said there is no transient state, look at one more example here. So it will be one to two and two to two. So clearly say that two is my recurrent state as well as absorbing. One is my transient state. So in all the cases, recurrent state must be there. And in this case, your study diagram will be like of this. And you can see all are my recurrent state. There is no transient state. So here, in all these two cross two, there is no other option about that. So in all the cases, there is at least one transient state is my correct option. So at least one state is transient. Look at this example. So there are the three example which discard this option. this this and this so that's why the second option is cancelled now look at the third option this is also a transient for some mark of chain remember for some mark but we need always a true statement so if i start from the second example minus 1 over 3 1 0 1 0 4 over 3 what is the p is 0 1 1 0 what will happen it is my minus 1 over 3 4 over 3 4 over 3 and minus 1 over 3 clearly say that this is my not tpm why first of all the sum is 1 that's fine but the first entry this entry is my negative but we all know for the each tpm the probability must be greater than or equal to 0 so this is the one example which i gave you which satisfied this condition is not the tpm and we need always true so it means this option is also cancel out look at the first example 
if I consider the first example here, then it is minus 1001, 4 by 3 of 1001. And you can see this value will be my 1001. Again, it's satisfied. It's satisfied for some, but it's said for necessary true, always true. But we have provided this counter example, which discard this always true statement. If he said which of the following is my true, then this example is a fine. Then for this case, for some Markov chain, this example is, this option is correct. And if this is not always, then this example is also fine for this case is are there. But in this question, he said always true. That's why this statement is very meaningful. Always true, so it is not always true. Look at that. If I consider this example, then it is my 4 by 3 minus 1 by 3, 0. It's a 4 by uh, minus 1 by 3 and 4 by 3 minus 1 by 3. Clearly says that the sum of this is not 1. If you look about that, the first row is my 1, but the sum is not equal to 1. So clearly says, clearly says this matrix also not satisfied for this problem. So hence, the second option is, third option is also cancel out. Now, look at this last option that is related to the eigenvalue. So uh, remember that I already gave you one simple tips that if each row or if each column has sum is equal to k then what is the meaning of that then k is the one of the eigenvalue fine this is the this is the theory we have discussed in earlier classes so if we all know in the tpm the sum of the each row is my one column may also one if column is one then we will call as a double stochastic matrix but you can see this is not given as a double stochastic matrix so it means we all know the sum of the each row is my one it means one is the eigen value of p so what is the eigen value of i plus 3p plus p square the eigen value of this is my 1 comma 1 eigen value of this is one eigen value is my one, uh, one to 3p eigen value 3 p square has eigen value 1 so one of the eigen value is my 5 of this matrix so he also said that 5 is the eigen value of this is it always true yes it is always true because the sum of the each row for any matrix is my 1 so therefore this is my right answer so you can see if i consider this example so 1 and 1 are my eigen value so what is the eigen value of this 1 1 what is the eigen value of the 3 p 3 comma 3 what is the eigen value of the p square again 1 comma 1 so you can see 5 comma 5 is the eigen value of this so 5 is an eigen value is an eigen value that is a one of the eigen values my 5 is also the correct option so the right answer is my 1 and 4 is my correct options. Remember the second and the third are confusing option but which is discarded due to the term of necessary. Necessary means always true. So remember this is the way you can solve this question in a very simple manner. For more detail you can see my this PY questions of the Markov chain. You may understand it more clearly what is the difference between the various type of the questions. So I hope you can simply learn the tricks. Uh, in the next lecture, we will see the various probability questions related to the, this June 2023. Till then, you can simply like, share and comment on my video. Best of luck students. Happy learning all.